This part is actually important because it's where you are showing that you are an authority in your field. So that should be maybe a little bit more popping, right? Because here it's, it's a bit lost in between your very good design of those parts. The first thing I did when I got my Podia Pro badge was putting it on my website because that's, that proves that, you know, I know what I'm talking about. And in your case, it should be the same thing. Hello and welcome to our website review series where we have Podia Pros review real Podia websites, share their expertise, and answer your questions. My name is Ben Tolson and today I'm joined by Podia Pro educator Marie Jovan. Marie helps French entrepreneurs find the right tools, launch their projects online, and set up their technical ecosystems. She also manages Just French It, which is an online school of French with students in over 32 countries. Marie, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm very glad to be here. Very happy to be here. You ready to dive into the first website? Yes. Yes, I am. This website was submitted by the founder of a public benefit company focused on financial empowerment. And their main question is, how can I restructure my site for maximum efficiency? That's a good question. And I think that's a very important question when you're building a website is, how can I say what I want to say and show what I do in the most efficient and clean way possible? And I think here we have a good example of that. This website is super, super clean. The graphics are very fun as well. I think it's a very fun color scheme that you have here. And probably it makes you stand out from other financial themed websites. And I think you're speaking French as well, because I saw that you have a little French thing. So that's very fun for me. <laughs> the buttons in particular are very good and your copywriting on the buttons are very good too, because that's a tip for you here. If you want to make sure that people know where they are going, use verbs in your buttons, learn to invest, discover, schedule a meeting, book a call. That, that usually makes it super clear. Yeah, absolutely. I love, I love that tip using verbs instead of just kind of the standard button format, but, you know, psychologically, when we see a verb, we're more likely to kind of think in those terms, think in terms of taking action. So that's a really great call out. Exactly. Exactly. And, um, so is this efficient? Yes. Your, your structure is clean. And that's basically what we're asking of a structure is, is it clear where I should be clicking to get to what I want? And here, I think you're achieving that. But there are a few things I'd like to point out to make it clearer, but those are not necessarily structural problem. Those are more like copywriting problems. So the patterns copywriting is really good, but when we're looking at your titles, especially here and, and, and then later a little bit too, but especially this part, I think you should concentrate more on the benefit that it gives your client rather than what it is that you actually give. And what I would do is I would invert this part here and I would put actually this specific part. So learn to build wealth as a title and then explain that you're doing that in your trainings. It speaks more directly to the person that is on your website to have the titles with clear benefits in there. So in this instance, you would have learn to build wealth get feedback on your situation and increase your chances of success or find support and experience something more tangible does that make sense yeah that's that's a fantastic call out you know you think about the experience of a visitor who comes to this website they're not necessarily looking for training they're looking for what that training will do for them and so that should be the headline love that Definitely focus on the benefits and it should be the same in all the different parts of, of your, of your website. One other thing I would like to point out here, and that's, that's more of a design thing. This part is actually important because it's where you are showing that you are an authority in your field. Like you are a firm that is actually registered at the Swiss financial market, super supervisory, nah, 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 all that. <laughs> so that should be maybe a little bit more popping, 
right? Because here it's, it's a bit lost in between your very good design of those parts. But then that means that here it's not so clear what you can do. And I'm not sure you've done that. Yes. You have this here. Maybe you could do something like this with a visual for um, the fact that you are registered, because that's very important when it comes to money, right? If I am a client and I want to come to you, I need to know that you are registered. Does that make sense, Ben, to you? Yeah, absolutely. I almost, uh, as I'm looking at it and you're, I, I'm so glad you scrolled down to the bottom and it almost seems like if they move just that section with that, that kind of dark blue background mm. up, and included those logos with that text and yeah. white, and it just kind of, you know, popped that way. That seems like it would be a more effective use of that tool of, of trying to show authority. And it's very important in the theme of money or authority is a word I can't pronounce, but the, the fact that you are registered, I mean, the first thing I did when I got my Podia pro badge was putting it on my website because that's, that proves that, you know, I know what I'm talking about. And in your case, it should be the same thing. This should be obvious to the person who comes on your website. And one other thing that maybe you could do, because we only see your face here. I mean, I like the fact that you included testimonial as well. That's, that's really good. We only see your face here. Maybe it would be interesting to have your bio on your front page as well. Um, and it, it, again, we, we're going back to this certifying and human and authority kind of point. Seeing a face is always a good sign. Yeah, absolutely. Just building, building that know, like, and trust. And it's the same on your French page. If we go into your French page on your French page, we see you a tiny bit more because I suppose you have more content in French. Um, maybe you could do something like this in English. Maybe you don't have the content yet, but maybe put out a little bit more content with that is a little bit more personal building a relationship with the person is important in that case. So yeah. Do you have anything to add, Ben? I do not. This was a fantastic breakdown. And I love that you called out the authority thing, especially as it relates to the specific uh, industry this person is in. Other folks agreed about the colors. Project 2 million says, I agree, very clean, good colors, not overcrowded. Yeah, I love just mm -hmm. kind of the playfulness. It, it's, it feels like it sets this apart from other companies that probably do the same thing, but have a more kind of serious facade. And I, f I think he, uh, several times during the website, I, don't, I wouldn't know on which page to go back to, but he actually introduces this little, uh, character as a mascot. And I think that was, that was a good touch as well. It's very different. Does it, uh, does it say anywhere what that character's name is, or is it just, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I didn't write it down, but oh, okay. uh, somewhere on the website, it's. There, there is, there is this information somewhere on the website. <laughs> yeah, but I see he does, he does use it a couple of different times on that page. It's great. All right. Well, thank you folks so much for tuning in. Marie is one of our Podia pros and Podia pros is a program that can connect you with expert designers, specialists, and educators who know Podia inside and out. And you can learn there's, there's Marie right there. Um, you can learn more about this program at podia.com slash podia dash pros. Thank you again so yeah, much yeah. for being mm -hmm. here. Thank you for sharing so many great insights. If folks want to connect with you, what's the best way for them to do that? Well, it's my name.com. <laughs> so mariedrouvin.com. And you can book a meeting with me if you want me to review your site with you. And so we can work on improving that if you want to. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you again very much. And thank you folks for tuning in and we will see you next time.